Mm. Yeah. Nothing quite cuts it in the morning. Like a nice bowl of oatmeal. This is my son Sohan, by the way. You want some oatmeal? No. He clearly doesn't like it. Uh, I like oatmeal with milk. You like it with milk? Yeah. All right. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm cardiologist Dr. Rossi Wickramasinghe, and welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. Rossi. In this third video in my YouTube series, I'm going to talk about the breakfast of champions, one of America's most popular breakfast foods, oatmeal. About two months ago, I started getting into the habit of eating a bowl of oatmeal for breakfast every day. And as I started shopping for oatmeal, I realized that there are way too many types of oatmeal. Then it got me thinking. Are all oatmeals created equal? Do they all have the same beneficial effects? But before we get into this, I want to touch upon a very important nutritional concept called the glycemic index. The glycemic index tells you just how fast a carbohydrate-rich food is broken down into glucose by your body. The higher the glycemic index, the faster the breakdown of food, and the faster the rush of sugar, and therefore the higher spike of the hormone insulin is produced. So, for example, a Twinkie bar is going to have a much higher glycemic index, giving you a sugar rush and a high insulin spike, whereas an apple is going to have a low glycemic index, causing a slower rise in blood sugar and therefore insulin. You see, the real attraction for oatmeal being an outstanding breakfast food is the fact that it is minimally processed, and unlike your traditional cereals, I'm talking to you, cornflakes, the carbohydrates in oatmeal are released very slowly into your bloodstream. It truly is a low glycemic index breakfast food. So if you're a diabetic, for example, this is exactly the sort of rise in blood sugar you want to see. But do all types of oatmeal have the same effect? In America, there are three major types of oatmeal, ranging from the least processed to the most processed. The first is steel-cut or Irish oatmeal. In this particular variety, the oat groat is actually cut into pieces, hence the name steel-cut. And when it's cooked, it retains an almost rice-like texture with some chewiness to it. It takes about 30 to 40 minutes to cook a batch of these. The second variety is the old-fashioned or rolled oats that are made by processing the original oat groat by flattening it with a roller. These oats have more surface area, are softer, and cook faster. The third type of oat is the ever-ubiquitous microwavable instant oat or quick oats. This is made by pre-cooking, drying, dehydrating, rolling and pressing the traditional oat, giving it quite a bit of processing. These babies cook in a matter of minutes in the microwave. Now, nutritionally, are they all the same? Well, the answer is yes and no. When it comes to the overall nutritional profile of these three types of oats, the vitamins, the minerals, and the macronutrient content, they're all the same. But where they really differ is in their glycemic index or the speed at which they release blood sugar into your bloodstream. So, I tested this out by looking at the effect of these three oats on blood sugar. I used this little device here, which is a continuous glucose monitor, a small device that can measure fluctuations in my blood sugar in real time. And here's what I found. Compared to eating a slice of white bread, which has a pretty horrendous glycemic index, even the most processed oatmeal is a tad better, but not by a whole lot. So in terms of how fast your blood sugar rises, eating quick oats is not really giving you a huge advantage over traditional breakfast cereal. Interestingly, when you move up from microwavable instant oats to the old-fashioned or rolled oats, there is a significant and incremental blunting of the blood sugar response, seen here by this curve showing that my glucose rises much slower. Now, it's important to remember that my fasting blood sugar here has been normalized so that all of these different types of oats that I'm comparing have the same starting point because my day-to-day -day blood sugar reading is going to be different. But look what happens when I have the steel-cut oats. 
there is a substantially more pronounced prolonged response in the blood sugar trend. This is where this particular type of oat shines and where cooking it for 40 minutes on a stovetop really makes it worth it. So where does that put us? Well, if you're perfectly healthy and only like eating oats for the taste, then it really doesn't matter what type you choose. Although in general, the less processed, the better. But if you're a diabetic or someone who wants to keep your blood sugar fluctuations to a minimum, steel cut oats is a clear winner. What if you're busy and you don't have 40 minutes every morning to cook yourself a batch of oats? Well, you could use this in a pressure cooker. Steel cut oats in a pressure cooker takes literally 10 minutes flat. In fact, personally, I cook a large batch on the weekend and reheat it and eat the cooked steel cut oats every morning. Another trick you can do to improve its glycemic profile is to add something with extra fiber like flaxseed meal or a little bit of nut butter like peanut butter or almond butter to give some additional healthy fats that further slow down the digestion of carbohydrates. Lastly, make it something you enjoy. After all, the whole point of eating breakfast is so that you can enjoy it. Add some frozen berries or half a banana to improve the taste of your oatmeal. Sometimes I even add a little bit of extract like vanilla or banana extract to intensify the flavor without adding any extra sugar. So I hope these little pearls help you find the best version of oatmeal that suits you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment and I will do my very best to answer with the latest available scientific knowledge. And as you can see, I'll even go to the extent of volunteering to be the guinea pig if I can't find the data myself. If you have any other questions you'd like answered, post them below. Lastly, if you enjoy watching videos like this, please help the process along by liking and subscribing to my channel so you never miss another posted video. Have a great day and have a happy, healthy heart.